We're at the Hakuto R2 Lunar Landing event here in Washington, D.C., where top space officials are gathered to watch iSpace's second attempt at a lunar landing. Officials from NASA, iSpace, and leaders in the commercial space industry gathered in Tokyo, Luxembourg, Denver, Colorado, and Washington, D.C. to watch the launch. The significance? Kicking open the door to a lunar economy. What we hope will happen is that we enable a permanent significant human presence on the moon. The only way that's going to happen is by sparking a commercial market, a cislunar economy, uh, to enable that to happen. Because if, if we just rely on government missions, um, then it's going to be a linear. It's going to be linear progress, right? The, the budgets are only so, so, you know, so big. The mission was to land Hakuto 2 or Resilience on the moon and deploy the tenacious rover to collect dirt samples to be sold to NASA. It would be the first ever commercial sale in the cis lunar economy. It's iSpace's second attempt at a lunar landing. Their first attempt failed in its final seconds in April 2023 when communication with the lander was lost. At this moment. We have not able to confirm successful landing on the lunar surface. Onlookers watched with bated breath as resilience made its descent. All goals had been met up to this point. And then? Communication was lost with resilience. Attendees were still proud of the work done. I'm confident that regardless of what occurs, this mission is already a success. The fact that the investment, the technology was developed, the people pulled together, you're not going to succeed every time? but you will succeed eventually. But later that night, it was determined to be unlikely to reestablish communications, and it was decided to conclude the mission. We've been able to train and certify engineers from Luxembourg and the US uh, to be on console as well. So we've already gathered a lot of lessons learned and on console experience flying deep space missions. And so, you know, regardless of outcomes today, we're excited to be able to leverage that moving forward. Everybody really focuses on the landing, which is obviously really important, but there are a number of technical achievements that have to happen and technical milestones that uh, happen along the way. iSpace is focused on the successes and lessons learned on the Hakuto 2 mission and is already making plans for a Hakuto 3. One of our models of the company is never quit the lunar quest, so we will not be deterred. We're going to keep uh, focusing on, on creating that, that cis-lunar economy. Um, our, our other motto is expand the planet, expand the future. So we believe that there's a tremendous benefit to all of humanity by not only continued exploration of the moon, but, but expanded exploration of the moon and uh, the addition of commercial activities on the moon. And that's our coverage of the Mission 2 iSpace Lunar Landing. I'm Michael Anthony Moore. And I'm Mark Edwards for Washington Examiner.